A remastered game has got to replicate the original game and how it was played. Modern Warfare Remastered did not do that. It was not even close. You were not supposed to add new weapons or game modes to a remastered game, otherwise it completely changes the multiplayer. And I don't want that to be the same with MW2 Remastered after looking at how different MWR was to Call of Duty 4's multiplayer. And the greatest example I can show you is some of my basic stats to illustrate the difference. So COD 4, I dropped nearly 4 people for every death. Had I kept playing it, that number would have went up with more experience. And of course factor in how many times I was killed because of people using mods against me. So that easily could have been a 5.0 KD, but we'll just call it 4.0 for the purpose of this video. Now with Modern Warfare Remastered, my stats were nearly cut in half as you can see. I went from a 4.0 to nearly a 2.0 KD wise. One reason behind that is not being able to spot players as well. On MWR, you cannot see people as clear as you could before. The colors and graphics, I don't mind better graphics, but when you look right at somebody and you don't see them, well, what more can you say? Another thing has been the players, and I mean this from a couple of standpoints. First, the camping was not as bad on COD 4 as it was on MWR. COD 4 campers didn't have bonfires and tents set up like in Modern Warfare Remastered. Also, there is not enough players on MWR. At the time of making this video, Modern Warfare Remastered is one and a half years old, and already there is an extreme shortage of players. Also, having too many game modes, which divides the player base too much. Meaning, in the long run, certain game modes will not have players in them or not have enough to replace empty slots in current matches. Moving on, of course having 15 new weapons added to the multiplayer would change things, not to mention some of the original weapons seem completely different on Modern Warfare Remastered. The AK-74U on COD 4, I could shred people with that thing, but on Modern Warfare Remastered, it shot rubber bullets. The M4 on MWR is probably the second best gun on that game, and it was weak as hell on Call of Duty 4. All of these things I have just mentioned have resulted in these two games being completely different, and I'm telling you, if the same mistakes are made on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, it will result in the same way, and it will not come close to how great the original Modern Warfare 2 was. MW2 Remastered cannot be anything like MWR was to Call of Duty 4's multiplayer. And the last thing I wanted to throw in here, it's better to fix or change things that should have been fixed or changed from before that were major issues in the past. Marty Dom and Juggernaut were the two things that should have been nerfed, and both of those perks have always been overused and overpowered. In conclusion, Modern Warfare 2 is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, first-person shooter of all time. And for it to remain that way, it has to remain mostly the same. Nothing new should be added to the game, and of course, One Man Army should be nerfed like it should have been a long time ago. Anyways, that just about does it for this video. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about all of this. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.